If you could own any replica weapon, which would you pick? We had the same question, which is why we set out to pick the top 10 craziest replica weapons in history. So without any further ado, let's get right into it. Number 10, the Chiapa 1911-22. The 1911 weighs roughly 10 ounces more than the Chiapa 22, which weighs 33.6 ounces. The firearm is made entirely of steel, has a very light recoil spring, and a fixed barrel that makes it simple to discharge and use with 22 caliber ammunition. The Chiapa's finish resembles the Parkinson applied to military style models during World War II. The firearm features an early flat mainstream housing design, a later styled extended thumb safety, and an adaption of the Ithaca Type 2 hammer design from approximately 1943 to 1945. Overall, it's a stylish mashup of 1911 designs that's interesting. On the right side of the slide, the firearm also contains a secondary safety feature that locks the action hammer for storage using a unique tool. Wooden grips are on the Chiapa. Number 9, the American Tactical STG-44. The STG-44, one of the most famous weapons of World War II, was a revolutionary design for its day, and according to some military historians, the first modern assault rifle. Existing three years before the AK-47 A-22LR Sturm Guer 44 that is meticulously accurate in terms of appearance and quality to its original is available for purchase. The Sturm Guer 44 was a significant development of its day and is now a true collectible. The American Tactical AT imported German sports gun Smizer 22 has distinctive styling in its hardwood pistol grip panels, shoulder stock, barrel layout, and sights. When compared to its storied World War II predecessor, it is astonishingly realistic in its tiny detailing weight of 9.4 pounds and operation. The STG-44 is offered with 10 and 25 round magazines and even comes in a package that closely resembles those used during World War II. It is without a doubt one of the most accurate World War II replicas ever chambered for 22 lr Number 8, Standard Manufacturing Model 22. The Model 1922 from the Standard Manufacturing Company is roughly a half-scale replica of its renowned World War II submachine gun created by General John T. Thompson in 1918 and produced by Auto Ordnance. The Standard Manufacturing Model is a lot of fun to fire even though it doesn't function the same way as its original due to its 10-round magazines. A 50-round drum magazine is forthcoming. The original Thompson N45 ACP was first used by the U.S. Marines in 1921 before being adopted by the U.S. Army. The American Coast Guard adopted it in the middle of the 1920s and the American Navy did so in 1928. The Thompson underwent numerous design revisions over the years and by World War II, the M1 and M1A1 versions were in widespread usage by the American troops. The Tommy Gun inspired standard manufacturing firearms featured a finned barrel, a muzzle brake, a foregrip, and a top mounted cocking handle. For the first time ever, a Thompson can be purchased on a frame that is appropriately proportioned for its caliber. The standard manufacturing model 1922 is a fine firearm with a pistol grip and foregrip, a strong black finish, and a nicely grained walnut stock. The guns feature a 16.4 inch barrel, measure 34.5 inches overall, and weighs 4.6 pounds when the 10 round magazine is empty. Number 7, the Chiapa M122. The M1 carbine is maybe the most well known weapon from World War II next to the M1 Garand. Like the Garand, it was still in use during the Cold War. The M1 was short, squat, and made to last. It was chambered for 7.62x33 millimeters, also known as .30 carbine. This light gun, as the military referred to it, bridged the gap between the M1 911 sidearms, which had less power and precision, and the immensely hefty M1 Garand rifles. 
the fact that the majority of M1s were built during World War II by some of the most unlikely companies, such as General Motors Inland Division, the Rock Ola Jukebox Manufacturing Company, IBM, and the Underwood Typewriter Company, is one of the most fascinating facts about the M1. Ed Browning, the brother of John M. Browning, David Marshall Williams, and several of Winchester's top engineers were the original designers of the M1, but this fact is also one of the most interesting ones. The M122 has an overall length of 35 inches and a pull length of 13.125 inches, both of which are cosmetically accurate in most areas. The rifle has two 10-round magazines and weighs 4.5 pounds empty. Number 6, the American Tactical GSG MP40. The 9x19mm Parabellum originals that were made in Germany in the 1940s are faithfully recreated by the German sport guns MP40. One gets the sense that every German soldier in World War II was equipped with an MP40 from viewing World War II movies, both old and new. It may be a slight exaggeration, but the MP40 submachine gun was one of the most widely used German weapons during World War II. It was distinguished by its unique receiver design and folding metal stock. All metal American tacticals rimfire variant also has a folding butt plate, a 17.2 inch barrel with a fake suppressor, and adjustable rear sight, genuine backlight grips, and a weight of 8.3 pounds. It also has these similar features. Even with a blowback action, this is the most classic of all the German submachine gun designs from World War II. It stands out as one of the most accurate World War II replicas available on the market at 22 semi-auto. You can choose a 24 round or 10 round magazine for the MP40. This is a traditional Kalashnikov style rifle with a 22 LR ammunition chamber. The 22 LR Kalashnikov, which is made by German sports guns and imported by the American Tactical, is much more than a little version of a well-known military rifle. The GSG AK-47 is a quality firearm that also has the Kalashnikov moniker. As the sole firm in the world with a license from Kalashnikov to produce actual functional firearms, GSG has not taken this chance lightly. The GSG AK-47 has a very identical overall appearance, feel, and mode of action. You get the impression that this rifle is an authentic AK-47 from the minute you shoulder it until you squeeze the trigger. The 10 round magazine functions exactly as intended. Number 5, the replica Daryl Dixon crossbow. After a zombie apocalypse, do you want to dress as though you've never taken a bath? If so, Daryl Dixon is probably the role you wish to portray. You'll also require a crossbow. This version carries an official license. It has an orange-tipped quarrel for safety, and for even more safety, it won't even shoot. Daryl has been using a Striker Strike Zone 380 since Season 3. However, it appears that they no longer produce it. You can get this replica crossbow online for just $35.99. Number 4, the Kingston Armory Garand and M14. A proven rim fire mechanism can be used as the basis for creating a 22 lr rifle that has the appearance of a World War II weapon. For many, refilling and reassembling a vintage rifle around a more contemporary rim fire action is the ideal solution. Kingston Armory uses steel, semi-automatic actions that are entirely house-made to construct their excellent reproductions of the M1 Garand and M14. Since Kingston Armory constructs its own steel receivers for these actions, the guns have a weight and feel that are close to that of the original US military models. Particularly the 22 Kingston Garand from Kingston Armory, which has national match Garand sights, looks much like the original. The sights of the 22 Kingston M14 resemble the originals just as closely. The M14's trapdoor, steel butt plate, and stock hardware, which are all accurate to its original design, add to its authenticity. 
For an added touch of excellence, the stocks and handguards are fashioned from the finest American walnut. Number three, the Tommy gun. A non-firing duplicate of the Thompson SMG used by the military is available. The 101st and 82nd Airborne Division soldiers popularized the military Thompson SMG during World War II, making it maybe the most recognizable weapon of the conflict. The 20-round magazine and horizontal four-handle of this military model set it apart from the original commercial model. Despite being heavy by today's standards, the weight managed the bursts of 45 caliber can be fired in full automatic mode. When the bolt is in the open position, it cocks and fires. This Thompson submachine gun replica will undoubtedly transport you back in time. It's a beautiful item to add to any collection and a delightful novelty to handle and hold occasionally to savor and appreciate the exquisite attention to detail. Number two, a replica AK-47 with a gold finish. This is a unique variation of the most dependable and effective assault weapon ever made. This is a blinged out replica of the original, which is currently in use by more than 30 countries and it has a sheet gold finish. Worldwide, millions of the original are currently in use. The distinctive report of this weapon has earned it the admiration and recognition of GIs all over the world. The AK-47 assault rifle and its variations have been produced the most of any other assault rifle, and production is still going strong. Denix produced a non-firing duplicate of the AK-47 in Spain. Number 1. A replica 1911 Gold Semi-Automatic M1911A1 The M1911 weapon was developed in the late 1890s as a suitable semi-automatic or self-loading handgun to replace the mini revolvers then in use. The M1911 as we know it today is a 45 ACP cartridge chambered, single action, semi-automatic, magazine fed pistol that is operated by recoil. This non-firing model is a reproduction of the sidearm that American soldiers have received as regular issue since 1911 and which became well known through historical images of World War II. For eight decades, the M1911's powerful stopping ability saved countless troops' lives. The size, weight, and appearance of this piece are exact replicas of the original. This model is completely detachable and reassemblable. However, the replica cannot be manufactured to fire ammo or have parts replaced. Without a M1911, no collection of weapons is complete. And there you have it, everything you needed to know about the top 10 craziest replica weapons. Which of these would you rather have? Let us know down in the comment section. Also, be sure to like the video and subscribe for more similar content.